Thanks for sticking along with us here at Bowie. I'm Sarah Perlman, and this is Ryan McKenna. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah, thanks for having me. What's going on? How's the season going? It's good. You know, it's uh, definitely been, you know, quite a season for me and, you know, a long, long season at that. But, you know, it's it's definitely been fun, and, you know, looking to finish strong here and, you know, have a good year. So. So in June, you got switched from obviously Frederick to now here. You crush mm -hmm. it in Frederick, batting 377, and here you're doing quite well. Up to this point, what's been the key to your success here? Um, you know, I th I've gotten a lot, a lot, you know, throughout um, this year, but you, I think I have to credit a lot to mental preparation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of good coaches, too. You know, the Orioles do a great job of trying to prepare you for, you know, the things that come. And, you know, this is all process, you know, you know, trying to make that goal and you know, the childhood dream of making it to the big leagues. You know, it's it's all that, you know, learning what gonna, is going to work for you. And, you know, they try to do the best to try to find those points and attributes that are going to help you. Uh, do that. So I think being in tune to that has been a, a big key to what I've been doing. Ryan, I got to ask you, what's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make from Frederick to now Bowie? Um, I think just, you know, staying within myself, not trying to, you know, mentally get too big or, you know, try to make a bigger deal of, uh, you know, the level of double A, um, you know, just learning that and just kind of doing what I know how to and, you know, going out and playing hard and, and not letting the other things get to me a little bit. So um, you know, a little older guys here and, you know, experience and just kind of trying to keep up with that and, you know, understanding that that's a piece to it. And, you know, I'm learning things and, you know, failure is part of the game. So, you know, all that is uh, coming into play. But I think that would be the, the thing that I would do. So now you put together some really solid at bats, obviously there and, and now here. Have you seen a big jump from the pitching standpoint? Are you seeing obviously more fastballs or what's it like here? Um, yeah, definitely. They It doesn't matter what count you're really in. Um, they'll throw pretty much whatever they want whenever. So um, that's definitely a, an adjustment that has been made. And, you know, I think that just going forward, just sticking to my game plan and being prepared, um, like I mentioned a little bit, is uh, is a key to it. So, yeah, just sticking with those couple things and, and going forward with that, I think will help. Do you have time to follow how the Orioles are doing throughout this year at all? Yeah, I mean, some of the games, you know, baseball time frame kind of, you know, varies. So the big league game might be going on still when we get uh, um, out. So we catch the games every now and again. But um, same with the road trips. We got the TVs on the buses. So if we uh, catch them on, you know, a different time, we get to see them a little bit. Now you've seen Cedric Mullins be called up to the big leagues. You were in his draft class. You mm -hmm. said you never really overlapped with him playing wise, mm -hmm. but you're familiar with him. You said you were happy for him. Yeah, no, definitely. Cedric's a great kid. And, you know, I'm, I'm super uh, happy for him and excited. And, you know, seeing that and guys like in my draft class, you know, it kind of gives that revelation of, you know, this dream is possible. And, you know, I'm, I'm super happy for him. Now, quite a few players, Manny Machado, Trey Mancini, made the jump from double A to the big leagues. Does mm -hmm. that give you extra motivation to succeed here? Yeah, I mean, at any level, I think you can only control certain things. Um, you know, you just try to play as hard as you can, um, you know, and, you know, let the results be as they may. And, you know, you can't really control what the front office has. Um, I know that the Orioles care about their players, um, which is huge. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think they, they know what's best for me as a player and, you know, everyone too. So, you know, you just kind of leave that as it is and play hard. Now, before I let you go, I, I got to ask, you're from Maine. Yeah, I am, Not many yeah. baseball players are from <laughs> Maine. You can't play year round there. So is it pretty, I guess, passionate for you to say you're from there? A hundred percent. You know, you got to love the game uh, for sure because you got to wake up early and, you know, when it's snowing out, you got to go indoors and f try to find the time to, you know, do what you got to do to get better. So, yeah, it's definitely the passion for the game. And most people are, you know, Red Sox fans from New England. So, uh, so they, you can't get along with that. <laughs> yeah, no, you try to, uh, you know, keep those priorities as, you know, play for the sure. Orioles. But, you know, the childhood dream was, you know, you know, playing professional baseball and, you know, playing in Fenway. And, you know, the Orioles have been great, too. So. You know, but uh, yeah, no, it's been, you know, a lot of passionate fans there. So, yeah, it's been good. All right. Ryan McKenna, thank you so much. Good luck with the rest Appreciate of the season. It. Thank you. Appreciate it.